しいな。Yeah, I could have sworn I was in this class already, bro. Deja vu, bro. I guess so. I'm asking you, bro. What? Good morning, Lyman. I am Ruben and this is Tarek. Alright, attention students. The Lyman Fishing Team is looking for students for the 2023 through 2024 season. We will be get having an informational meeting on Friday, September 1st after school in Ms. Demeter's room in room 4022. Come and learn a little bit about what we do and all the exciting tournaments we will be participating in. See you all there. And if you're not able to attend, please by Peyton or Gavin or contact us by the Lyman Fishing Team's Instagram. After school Play-Doh for credit re retrieval begins Tuesday, September 12th in the Media Center. It, you must pre-register by scanning the QR codes around campus. Over to them. Attention all junior and senior culinary students. Do you think you have the skills to make it to the culinary and hospitality industry? Are you willing to put that to the test? Then come try out for a new Lyman Pro Start team. An informational meeting will be held this upcoming Wednesday, September 6th, directly after school in room 310. And trials will be held Wednesday, September 13th, directly after school. So do you think you have what it takes? Contact Chef B in room 3010 or email him. Remember, next Monday there is no school, and when you come back on Tuesday, it will be a gold schedule, which is 2476. This week's football game is against the Lake Brantley Patriots. We will be having our first pep rally on Friday. Show your school spirit by participating in Neon Day. Seniors wear neon pink, juniors wear neon green, sophomores wear neon orange, and freshmen wear neon yellow. Faculty and staff wear white. Come out and support football. Tickets are available at GoFan.co. That's all the announcements for today. Have a great Greyhound day. Juniors and seniors, it's time for the annual Powder Puff game. Powder Puff is when the girls play football and the boys get to be the cheerleaders. If you want to participate in this year's game, pick up the forms outside Dr. Hovel's room, building 2, room 13, and turn them in by September 1st. You must also pay the $35 fee on GoFan.co. The first 40 junior girls, 40 senior girls, and 40 boys as cheerleaders will be accepted. Your completed paperwork and paid fee make you eligible. Good morning, Greyhounds. This is your principal, Mr. Hunter. I cannot tell you how excited I am for this Friday's pep rally as we prepare for our big Friday night football game. For many of you and many of our staff, this will be your first opportunity to go to a Lyman pep rally and it's going to be outstanding. But before we do that, I want to go over a few of the basics of how the pep rally is going to work. First of all, we're going to be dismissing students by all call. First we'll start with the participants and then we will have each grade called out via the PA system to attend the pep rally. You're going to want to head directly to the gym. That's right, we're going to be doing this year's pep rally in the gym. It's going to be great because it's going to be loud and exciting and a great way to get our fans ready for Friday night's game. Like I said, you're going to want to go directly to the gym. If you're an individual who doesn't want to participate in the pep rally because maybe you don't like noi loud noises or want to be there, you're going to have to go to the cafeteria. All students must be in either the gym or the cafeteria during the pep rally. Any students that don't go to the gym or don't go to the cafeteria and are found in other areas of campus or those who try to leave campus will receive a discipline referral. You're going to enter in the gym from the courtyard side and you're going to go to the bleachers with your grades name over it. Seniors and sophomores will be on one side, juniors and freshmen will be on the other. It's very important that you make sure you fill in the bleachers where your grade is supposed to be. Nobody should be on the gym floor everybody needs to head directly up onto the bleachers. Once you're on the bleachers, we expect you to be standing and cheering on all of our students and performers as we go through the pep rally. This is a great way to build some big energy as we go into Friday night's game. When the pep rally is over, you're gonna be dismissed directly from the pep rally to go to either the buses, the car line, or to your vehicle. You need to make sure you take all of your belongings with you.
For those students who don't have a six period class and want to participate in the pep rally, you're going to want to make sure that you go to the cafeteria for six period. No students will be allowed back on campus for the pep rally. Again, I cannot tell you how excited I am for Friday's pep rally and even more excited for Friday night's game. We are gonna do an outstanding job and I cannot wait to be there. So let's make this a great Greyhound day and a great Greyhound pep rally.